Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here today with what's gonna be our own post hole digger. This is gonna be the heart of the, of the ETA Attachments post hole digger. This is a gearbox made by Omni. The, uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna offer these gearboxes for those of you that already have a post hole digger and has uh, broken their box, or for whatever reason the box is no good, but you still have your bit, boom, your hoop, and, and your drive shaft, we're gonna offer to sell you just the boxes with no responsibility of the shields matching or anything like that. If you need, you may or may not need to change the width of your boom um, and wear your drive shaft covers hooked to the gearbox. That's all on your liability end. I will not be selling just a gearbox with the shields because they might not match the particular PTO you're using, the shaft, the way the bell or the collar is around it. They may not match the collar around your auger. So if you buy a gearbox, just remember, you should never operate a post hole digger without PTO guards and without a guard around the bolts which are holding your auger drive on. So that being said, Everything Attachments will be offering a new post hole digger uh, that's gonna be a really neat designed in-house uh, for the smaller compact tractors and tractors up to about 60 horsepower. Now, the smaller box is a PHD 26. It's rated for up to a 12 inch auger and it also has a place to put a seven, eight inch a 7 8 inch outside diameter pipe through it to use as a guide. I'm not a big fan of that pipe, but if you want to use it, you can. The hole is there. The way these work is the shear bolt for your drive shaft goes through right here in this hole, and then there is a groove cut right here, and you want to always make sure that you've run, if you've got a true post hole digger drive shaft, it will always have a set screw that screws down into that groove, so if you hit something down in the ground and shear that bolt, that it keeps that shaft from moving forwards or backwards and especially coming off. Because if your tractor were turning that shaft fast, the shaft comes off, instead of staying up there on the box where it's supposed to be, it could be flopping back there and, and it would be a bad deal. And just remember, no matter what, you should never be anywhere around a post hole digger while it's operating except on the seat of that tractor. Nobody should be within 12 feet of this thing while it's running. Post hole diggers are really bad for having accidents and it's all because of the error of the operator or the person that gets too close. So just remember, no matter what, stay away from it. If it's not digging properly, maybe your bits are, are not uh, sharp, but the last thing you need to be doing is hanging on the back. I left out of town last week, not far from my house, and there was somebody using a post hole digger with the guy hanging on the back of it while the auger's turning right here. That's the number one thing not to do and just asking for trouble. So never, never do that. If it won't dig, it just won't dig. Don't get back there hanging on it. So these boxes will be available. Uh, they'll be priced two different prices because obviously there's a size difference. This, I'm going to use this on my augers and rate it up to an 18 inch auger. I do know that this box is used on other brands of post hole diggers and is turning 24 inch augers. That's up to you. They're going to be rated up to 18 inches on mine and then we'll be selling the Dan Huser brand for the really heavy duty augers that go up to 36 inches. And we're really happy to have Dan Huser on board for the post hole uh, diggers in line because it's, it's one of the best older lines that's around. It's a great family. We're glad to have them. These will be the medium and light duty post hole diggers only that everything attachments will be building in house. <laughs>